This year we have been learning all about birds and what we wanted to learn and tried to link it to all the other subjects at school like maths, geography, English and science. We wanted to make a film to show you all the amazing things we have done and learnt and we hope it teaches you something about how special birds are. We hope you enjoy our film! The theme for this half term is birds. This morning pupils all put all their ideas down on a piece of paper about what they'd like to do about birds, what they'd like to learn about, what they know, how can they link it to maths, science, geography, art, music. They're now looking at each other's sheets and putting ticks and smiley faces on ideas that they all really, really like. So I get an idea of what to base them. They're learning on this half term. Starlings often roost in massive numbers. Some city hotspots can contain over a million birds. How to make a factory? Basically, we collected yogurt pots and cups and tied string around the centre and secured it with duct tape. Secondly, we melted the lard till it was a liquid. Then we added seeds and meal worms to the melted lard. After that, we placed all the ingredients into the cups and yogurt pots and then we let that set. Finally, we cut off the tops and the yogurt pots and hung them up. This is one we made earlier. You know, a fat ball can keep a blue sit alive for 105 .9. days in winter. Or well, one fat ball can keep 105.9 blue ticks alive in one day in winter. Approximately one fat ball contains 1059 cal calories in it. Every day in winter, a blue tick needs 10 calories which is equivalent to 300 small insects a day. In winter, tiny birds like wrens sleep together at night for warmth, and an incredible 63 wrens were once found in a single nest box. Barn owl adaptation. Barn owls have extra sharp talons to catch their prey. Next time, 270 degrees. They have long legs to reach into rough grasses to catch their prey. Females have a spotted chest and males have a white chest. Farmers have very soft feathers so they fly silently. They have asymmetrical ears so they can hear accurately. They have dark adaptive to eyes to see prey in low light. The robin is one of the few UK birds to sing all year round. It's one of the earliest birds to start the dawn chorus and one of the last to stop singing at night. It can easily be triggered into full song in the middle of the night. Why birds sing? Male birds sing to attract females and defend their territories. They try to sing louder than other males to show how strong they are and they are not afraid of predators. Both male and female birds sing. We know far more about why males sing than females. Birds sing more at the start of the day, the dawn chorus. This is because the sound quality is clearer than, and the song travels through the air better. As the ground heats up, there is more atmospheric turbulence and the sound quality gets worse. Males sing more in spring when they are looking for a mate. This is when they sing their loudest and the prettiest songs. Their mating calls are different to other calls. When they yeah. sing first thing in the morning, it shows they have survived the night. And they are so strong that they can sing before they eat their breakfast. This impresses the ladies. I'm so strong, look at me go. Girls?
Oh, he's so pretty. <laughs> some birds love thousands of songs. Some can sing two patches at once. Some birds can copy sounds. Robins ah. and wrens share a reputation for nesting in strange places, sheds, greenhouses, hanging baskets, even a pocket in washing left on the line. and dispersing seeds. Almost 1,500 bird species face extinction around the world, mostly due, due to loss of habitat and farming. We must do everything we can to help these amazing animals. Oh, what a wonderful specimen. Oh, hello. Birds have six different types of feathers that are different in shape and have different functions. They are important for flight and waterproofing, camouflage and display. Wow. A bird is warm-blooded vertebrae that has feathers, lays eggs and a beak and wings and can usually fly. We have over 620 species of birds in the UK. Most are songbirds, passerines. Blue tits and great tits closely aid their breeding with the emergence of caterpillars. Great food for growing chicks. Parents of the birds deliver more than 10,000 to their young. Wow, that's a great new species of bird I've never seen before already for my new documentary on Spring Watch. Oh, hello there. The smallest bird is the bee hummingbird, about 57 millimetres long, half of which is the bill and the tail, and it weighs around 1.6 grams, which is half of the weight of a penny. Oh, hello. Birds have different shape, beak and feet, depending on what they eat and they, the habitat they live in. Birds have hollow bones to make them might enjoy them to fly. Thank you. Not all birds are expert nest builders. Sometimes collared doves find their chicks fall through their flimsy nests. Starlings are outstanding mimics and incorporate accurate copies of sounds of other birds, frogs and mammals, and even mechanical sounds into their song. A pair of great tits will, will each fly at least a hundred kilometres to collect the caterpillars and carry almost their own body weight in a day. A blue tip weighs the same as a pound coin. All about migration. Birds are migrating, they will fly across the seas. Birds are migrating, they will fly beneath the trees. Birds tend to fly in groups, you can have birds as pets. Some birds are not Some birds sleep in the daytime, owls I'm talking about it. 
Male and yeah. female blackbirds tend to separate for the winter, but when the breeding season arrives, they often return to previous season's partner year after year. My rating is calendar birds and weather birds. Migrate at the exact same time each year. Some way for changes like weather, days length, and when their food gets less. So wait for when the winds are blowing in the right direction to help them. Birds migrate to where there's warmer weather, more food and good places to breed. Birds can return to the same place year after year, even to the same twig. Ooh. Almost 9 million birds were counted as part of the 2004 RSPB Big Garden Bird Watch. That's more than the combined human population of Scotland and Wales. These are some of the dangers. Migration is very dangerous. Of the 20 billion birds, only half will return. Bad weather might go along with them on the course and make their journey longer. Or they'll get so tired they might die. Tall glass buildings. One billion birds die every year because of crashing into tall glass buildings. Migrating swallows cover 200 miles a day, mainly during daylight, at speeds of 17 to 22 miles per hour. Pesticides is used in farming. If they eat this poison, they can die. Loss of habitat. Birds have a regular place they stop to rest and feed. Many are being destroyed for houses, shopping centres and farming. If they cannot get enough energy for the fly on, they can die. Light pollution from buildings, birds who start to navigate, and are likely causing them problems. Being eaten by predators. House martins fly all the way to tropical Africa over the winter, yet find their way back to exactly the same nest the following spring. Some birds use the stars to navigate, some use the sun, some follow major landmarks such as like rivers, mountains or valleys. Scientists think that birds use the Earth's mag magnetic field to help them navigate. Iron rich crystals have been found in some bird species beaks uh, that act like a, a compass. Birds went to the moon. Three, two, one. Our favourite was that the crane went to the edge of the earth to battle dwarves riding boats. <laughs> what can we do to help birds? We can put food out when it's wet and wet, cold when they're ready for their journey. We can keep our green spaces safe so then they can stop, rest and eat. We can turn off our lights at night to stop confusing them. We can do bird watching to tell the experts what is happening. We did a bird watch this term and we're going to do one every year to see what difference it is on our side. A pair of great tits will will each fly at least 100 kilometres to collect the caterpillars and carry almost their own body weight in a day. After all, things are truly amazing! The end!
Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. I'm so strong. Look at me go. Girls? Oh, he's so pretty.